Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are at in the world or when you are watching this video. Welcome to Mornings with Lady T Talks. I am super, super excited to be here with you today. I am Talana Bard Allen, your host, and I'm happy to be here. I am a transformational life, health and wellness relationship coach. I'm a problem solver. I am a change agent. I help people change their lives, and I'm excited about that. I teach people how to have time and financial freedom. I help people with changing their mindset and their negative beliefs, and I teach people how to crush fear and learn to affirm their life through their affirmations. So welcome to Mornings with Lady T Talks with your co with your host, Talana Bar Allen, and I'm excited to be here with you today. It is a pleasure to serve you. As you come in, say good morning. Just say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world, whatever Whatever time of day it is, just say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. It is morning here, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm excited to be here with you today. I'm excited to be able to share with you on this Wellness Wednesday. So happy Wellness Wednesday. I pray that you had a good night and that you're having a good morning. So I'm excited to be here with you on today. I hope you got you some coffee or tea. I got me some coffee this morning. Mm. It's delicious. And you already know it's Wellness Wednesday, but I have my greens every morning, but it's Wednesday. So mm, I'll sip on that. Oh, that's so delicious. So welcome. And I'm excited to be here. We're going to start with our affirmations. Remember every day now we start with our affirmations and we're going to get started. So repeat after me. Yes. Ha. I'm glad you got your coffee. So repeat after me. Um, if you have not wrote these down already, written them down, um, I encourage you to write them down. If you're driving, come back and watch the replay so you can write them down. But we're going to start with our affirmation. So I am what God says I am. I can do all that God says I can do. I'm not weak. I <clears throat> I am strong. I am not bound. I am free. I am not sick. I am healed. I am living on top. I'm prospering in all that I do. I'm thriving and flourishing in my mind, in my business, at my job, with my family, in my relationships, and in my life. I am growing into the person that God has designed me to be. I am a money magnet. Money flows to me easily. I attract millions. I am able to give more because I have more to give. I am healed. I am delivered and I am set free. I am whole and complete in Christ. I forgive easily. I am grateful for this day. I am a believer. This is my confession and I'm sticking to it. So what is you? what are you confessing today? Start with your affirmations in the morning. Start confessing something that's going to help empower you, that's going to encourage you, that's going to push you to your destiny. I am excited, if you can't tell this morning, to be here with you, to share with you on this Wellness Wednesday. I want you to listen. Every single morning, confess something. Say what you are. Say who you are. Don't let the devil, don't let your mind... Don't even let people make you believe that you're something that you're not. You are who you say you are. You are who you confess you are, right? I can go give you stories for days of when I believed, when I had low self-esteem, when I had low self-worth, when I didn't believe in myself, when I tried to give up. Listen, I can give you a story for days, but when I changed my confession and I changed my mindset, what did I tell you? That I am a transformational coach, right? I have to be first transformed. In order to help other people transform their life, I have to be transformed. And I am in a transformation place where I'm transforming my mindset. I'm transforming my finances. I'm transforming my life. I'm transforming my living situation. I am upgrading in every area of my life. Why? Because that's what I confess. That's what I believe. That's what I say. And that's what I will have. Nothing less. That's my confession and I'm sticking to it, right? I love Les Brown. I see how he says, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Well, this is my confession and I'm sticking to it. So on this Wellness Wednesday, I'm going to pick up where I left off last week, but just in case in case you didn't tune in last week, just in case you missed it and you didn't watch the replay, I'm going to recap what we talked about and then I'm going to start. All right. So we talked about some tips on how to detox your mind, how we get our mind detox, right? This is really, really important with our overall health, right? If our mind is jacked up, if our mind is not in a good place, if our mind is all over the place, 
what are we going to do, right? We're not going to be able to function. We're not going to we're not going to think of how we're going to take care of ourselves or how we're, what we're going to do to benefit us, right? Because our mind is all over the place. So we need to bring our mind in, get our mind on track so that we can live the life that we were designed to live. So the first tip that I gave was set an intention. An intention for what, right? An intention to be intentional about one, saying your confessions every single morning. I actually woke up at three something this morning and I haven't been back to sleep. And normally I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so tired. But the Lord woke me up and he told me, I've been saying, Lord, who am I? Who am I? And he gave me the confession that I that I told you who I am this morning. I put it in my phone because I was in the bed and then I wrote it on a sticky note so that I could read it. So if it looks like I was reading it, I was, but this is who I am and I'm going to memorize it. So, I mean, I've been, I've been trying to figure it out. I've been saying one thing and I mean, this is pretty much what I've been saying, but now it's a synopsis of everything, right? And every morning I'm going to say who I am. Every morning I'm going to have my confession. What are you saying about yourself? Who are you? Where do you want your life to go? You need to start speaking to your life in the future, commanding your life to go in the direction that you want your life to go, right? You have the power and the ability to do that. If you don't do it, then who's going to do it? If you want your life to change, we can't expect people to come in and change it. We have to put the work in and do it, right? We have to be the change agents ourselves, right? So we got to start. So be intention, set an intention that every single morning I'm going to get up. I'm going to one, take some deep breaths. I'm going to thank God for this day. I'm going to say my confessions and I'm going to work on me every single day. Reading your Bible reading a book, doing something, right? Um, Spend some time outdoors, tip number two. Now, it is so important to get fresh air, to get that vitamin D in your life every single day. If you go outside for 10 minutes, five minutes, 15, 30 minutes, it doesn't matter. You need to get that fresh air. You need to get that vitamin D. This is how we can cleanse our mind. We're talking about how to detox our mind. Set an intention, right? Be intentional about changing your mindset. Be intentional about cleansing your mind, right? Then you want to spend some time out outdoors, right? I would do want to read this statistic. According to the um the Journal of Exposure, only 2 wait a minute. Americans only spend 2% of their time outdoors, 6% in transit and 92% of their time inside. 92% of our lives is spent inside of the house. We need to change that. We need to get outside and get some fresh air, right? So be one of the ones to go out. That was tip number two. So tip number three was schedule time and space with, um, schedule some time and space without your technology, without your phone, where you sit down and you can actually just work on writing stuff down, reading books, just no distractions, right? You want to spend some time, um, doing that. Okay. Then it was, um, four was meditation. Spend some time meditating every single day. You want to spend time in meditation, getting your mind clear, meditating on meditating on your dreams, meditating on your vision, meditating on the things. Where do you want your life to go? How do you see your life go? Meditation. That was tip number four. Okay. So that was a recap from last week. I just want to make sure I covered everything. And so this week we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to do. And that is journal and vent, right? Journaling is so important, right? Getting stuff down on paper. Scientists talk about it all the time and how, when you write down, you one mem- you remember it quicker because it's something about when you're writing, what happens with your brain. So you want to journal, you want to write down stuff. Oh, good morning and welcome. You want to write down stuff. You want to put stuff down. You want to get it clear as to what it is that you need to get out of your head. I always say do a brain dump. Get that stuff out of your head and get it onto paper. So sometimes we just need to get it out of our mind and get it on the paper, right? If we get it out of our mind, one of the things that I love to do, and this God gave me this years and years and years ago. What it was, was I was... I was wanting to have a conversation with my husband. And when I did um, want to have this conversation with him, I was like, I'm going to practice, right? And so what I did was I literally got a chair and I practiced like I was telling him what I wanted to tell him because I wanted to get it right. I I didn't want, I wanted it to be perfect, right? And so I literally had this conversation and I told him everything I needed to tell him. Well, when it came time for me to actually talk to him, 
I didn't even want to talk to him anymore. Why? Because I had got it out of myself. I had got it out of my mind. I had got it out of myself that I didn't need this anymore. So what happened was I was, I, that was like a light bulb that went off in my head that said to me, you got to just get it out of your head. So a lot of times we just need to get it out of our head, get it on paper. You can, and there will, there'll be times I'll go and I'll get in my car and I'll just drive and I'll just literally just get it out of myself because it's important not to hold it because it's toxic, right? It's toxic. It stays inside of you and it, and it literally just keeps you bound. It keeps you from moving forward because you have all these toxic things in your head. So get it out of your mind, set a timer. If you're going to do 10 minutes, if you're going to do 15, minutes 30 minutes to do a brain dome to get rid of all the things in your head that you could complain about that challenge you that are a struggle for you and let your mind be rid get rid of those things those struggles those nagging worries get them out of your head onto paper the object is to vent you can vent on paper you don't have to um necessarily get a chair you don't necessarily have to talk to you know to get it out the thing is to get it out there's been people that it's been scientifically proven like say they need to forgive somebody or need to they need to apologize to somebody some therapist will encourage them to write that person a letter right they're just getting it out of their head onto paper so that's tip number five If you are journaling or writing down anything that is bugging you, it will help you clear your mind, right? Don't let people get under your skin. Be, be, get it out. Like write it down. Just say it. Just, just write it on paper. Get it out of your head on the paper. If you're frustrated with somebody and somebody's getting on your nerves at work or somebody's doing something, you need to get it out of your head and you need to get it down. Write it down. Be as detailed as possible. Like if you could really tell this person, write it down. You don't have to tell the person. You don't have to practice. You just need to get it out of your head. Okay. If you're venting to somebody, because sometimes you can, there's people and only do this to people that are going to value you, right? And that are going to give you good feedback. But if you need to vent to a friend, give a friend, give them a head up, heads up. Say, hey, listen, I need to get this off my chest. This is, not, I don't need your feedback. I just need to get this off my chest and I need you to listen, right? And you just give, you know, you just say it. But it's important to not hold it in because when you hold it in, it's in there to just think and to fester and to grow and to all these different things you want to make sure you get your mind clear right get it off your chest but ask them for permission say hey can i do this like i really need to get this off my chest will you be my person will you be my person to listen to me right don't judge me right because a lot of times we don't want to talk to people because we don't want to be judged i, I want to tell you this but i don't want you to judge me <sighs> i don't want you to judge me so a lot of times we um we, 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 we hold stuff in because of judgment. What are people going to think? Well, what if somebody finds my journal and they read it? Well, what if I talk to somebody and they, um, you know, they don't give me good feedback or they talk about me or they go tell somebody else. Well, one, you want to make sure that the person you're talking to is trustworthy, that you can trust them with your secrets, that you can trust them with your feelings, that you can trust them with your emotions. And when you know that this person is trustworthy, then you can do what you, then you can vent to them. You can talk to them. You can open up to them. You got to have that person. If it's your spouse, if it's your best friend, whatever the case may be, you want to talk to people and that are going to, to, to not take your information and use it against you, right? You want to get rid of all that stuff that weighs heavy on your mind, that weighs that that is just weighing you down and you're thinking where you can't think. You want to get it out of your head, right? When you're finished it, when you're finished with writing it down and getting it out and venting or just journaling, take some deep breaths and rest your attention on this is a new season i don't have to stay stuck here i don't have to stay in this mindset that i'm releasing this out of my mind so that i can be free to live my life right sometimes you just need to get it out if you're angry with somebody if you're frustrated if you're mad you just get it out right get it out but get it out to the right person or write it down in a book so that you can get it out of your head okay now tip number six is ask yourself some important questions. Now, I'm a firm believer in this that I'm about to tell you. That one, we don't give ourselves enough credit. Our brains are so powerful. And when we ask ourselves the right questions, we'll get the 
the solution to the problem solved, right? We're asking ourselves the right questions. Now, when I started my health and wellness business, um, I was on unemployment and um, I was like, I can't afford these products. This is what I said. I can't afford these products. They're too much because in my mind, I wanted to just go convert everything over to my health and wellness business, right? I wanted whatever we sold, I wanted to buy from my business. But realistically, I wasn't in a position to do that. So I was listening to a trainer and on this training, the person was talking about saying, you know, um, don't tell yourself what you can't do. If you feel like you can't do it, ask yourself a question. How can I do this? So I said, oh, that makes sense. I, I believe that. Because neurologically, what it does is your brain has to give you an answer. So when you ask yourself the right questions, your brain then has to, in turn, get the answer and send you, give you the right answer. So when I asked myself, how can I do this? How can I afford this? What happened was my brain then gave me an answer. It said, what you can do is every single paycheck, you can buy something. You can do something, right? So when you ask yourself the right questions, your brain will give you an answer so for another example the other day i was on a train and today's wednesday so monday i was on a training and on the training um we had a special guest it was a mindset coach and so she was really talking and so she asked the question who am i and i was like well here i think i know who i am but who am i really right who is this person who is talana and when I asked myself that question, this morning when I woke up, the Lord literally gave me who I am. He gave me who I am, right? And I was like, it just came together. It was every, because me, I get wordy. I start writing all this extra stuff. And he literally just gave it to me on a sticky note. This is who you are. And I was like, wow, how powerful is this that... When you ask yourself a question, it literally will give you the answer because your brain has to produce what you're asking it, right? So what can improve in my life? What can I do better? What can I, what can I do to work on my mindset today? What, are, what kind of relationships in my life do add value to me? What kind of relationships bring me joy? What relationships in my life are toxic that I need to get rid of, right? That I need to change the relationship. There are certain questions that we need to ask ourselves. Um, what can I do to improve my financial situation, right? One of the things that I do is I teach people how to have time and financial freedom, right? So how can I show, how can I improve to get a better quality of life, right? On how to have more time and financial freedom. What can I do in my life? What gifts do I have? What talents do I have that can bring that and generate income my way? That can generate me to have some time freedom where I don't have to work this nine to five or I don't have to work so hard, right? What can I do to better enhance my life? What do I really want out of life? Hmm. That's a good question. What is it that I really want out of life? We think we know what we really want out of life, but what do we really what do you really want out of life, right? Ask yourself some questions. Right? This is going to make your mind work. A lot of times we don't even use I forget the actual statistic number, but it's over 60% of our brain we don't use. We don't ask questions, right? We don't, we don't, we don't inquire about certain things, right? Because one, it might seem a little awkward to say, Talana, who are you? What do you want out of life? Right? But you got to engage with yourself. You got to ask yourself questions. Give your brain some other things to think about other than what we're thinking about, right? What obstacles are holding me back from achieving my goals? Why am I a procrastinator? Hmm. Right. Because what happens now, your brain is like, why are you a procrastinator? Let's figure this out. Let's get to the bottom of it. Right. You will get your question is answered when you answer questions. Your brain is so powerful that it will literally answer the question for you. When I tell you I woke up at three something this morning, normally if I wake up before my alarm, if I could just be honest, I'll be getting the attitude. Like, I already get up at 4.30. Why am I up before the alarm is going off? But this morning, I woke up and I just laid there and I said, Lord, I want to start my day different because I want to have a different outcome. I don't want to wake up saying, oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh my God, because this, this is how my morning starts every morning. My husband would tell you, yesterday my alarm went off and I literally took me 30 minutes to get out of the bed. I was so tired. I sat on the edge of the bed. I drank my water. I was like, Talana, just get your life together. I didn't put no makeup. 
makeup on. It was just, it was a, it was my hair was, I just looked a hot mess, but I was committed to do my live. I was committed to do my devotion. I was committed to do what I'm supposed to do. So the extra time that I took in the morning was from my personal care. That's not taking care of myself. So this morning I decided that even though I woke up before my alarm, Lord, I've been asking you some questions. Now, can you start downloading the answers? And he started downloading the answers. I actually have notes in my phone because he was literally just downloading so much stuff. And so I'm just like, wow, this is so powerful, right? So tip number six is to ask yourself some important questions. What's stopping you? What's holding you back? What's keeping you from um, walking in your purpose? What's keeping you from walking in your destiny? What's keeping you from doing the things that you want to do? Ask yourself some questions so that your mind can answer the questions, okay? And um, so as you go through these questions, consider some roadblocks that are keeping you from where you want to be. Where, why do I have these roadblocks? What is what is the stumbling block? What is keeping me right? Sometimes we don't really want to think about or it's hard for us to think about what's really holding us back. But we need to think about what's stopping us. Right. Don't be afraid to be honest with yourself to identify these roadblocks and where they're coming from right? It's, it's literally a state of mind. It's literally how you think. So you have to be the one, right? You're one, you're the one that's the creator of your destiny, of your future, of your life, of your now, of your purpose, right? You are the one, right? Yes. God gave us the vision. God gave us the dream. He gave us the tools, but we have to put the work in. We have to do it. What's keeping me from putting the work in? What's stopping me, right? Then God will give you the answer. Say it's procrastination. You're a procrastinator, right? Well, why am I a procrastinator, right? You might have have to ask a question and when you get the answer then ask another question because you got to get to the bottom of why you are like you are why do i think this way why do i feel this way why do i do this that and the other right write it down and then as the answers come if you have more questions ask more questions but that's tip number six to ask yourself the important questions now tip number seven and oh my god my time is almost up jesus christmas we're going to stop with tip number seven. <laughs> this is so good. But tip number seven is to let go. I want that to sink in. Share this on your timeline. Tag somebody that could use this video. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Let go. We have a hard time letting things go sometimes. We want to hold on to it. We want to we want to rehearse it in our mind. We want to do all these things, but I want to encourage you today to just let it go. Let go. Reflect on your responses and your goals in life. Right? Reflect on it. Am I where I thought I would be? Am I doing what I thought I would do? Right? Reflect on it. Think about it. Whether you whether or not you are um, achieving what you, your goals in life, be ready to release, be ready to just let it go. Like, okay, I'm not there. Don't beat yourself up. Don't, you know, don't, um, get mad and angry with you. Oh, I thought I was going to be here. I remember doing this. I thought I was going to be so much further in life. I thought I was going to be doing X, Y, and Z. Well, I'm not doing it. And I just, just wanted to just literally give up. Well, don't, I don't care where you are at in your life. You are where you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to do. It may not seem like it because we have plans and purposes for our life, but God has different ones. And sometimes where we think we should be, we're not because God is still trying to get some things out of us to prepare us for where we're supposed to go. So know that you are where you're supposed to be. So let go of the, of the, um, what's the word I want to use here of the expectation that. I should be here or the, 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 the mindset that I'm not where I'm at, like just beating yourself up. Stop that. Just let it go. Like, okay, I'm not there. So let's set a new goal, right? Let's set a new goal to say, why am I not there? What held me back from getting there? What's stopping me from getting there? What tip number six, asking the questions. So start asking questions. Why am I not there? What is keeping me back? What is holding me back? Right? Um, hold on one second here. I put staples in my papers because I got piles and stuff that I'm teaching and I wanted to get mixed up, right? What I want you to do is I want you to let go and then commit to doing what you need to do to get to the next phase in your life. Commit to where you need to do to get to the next phase in your life. Commit to being that change, change agent that you know 
or that you that God created you to be. You may not know that you need to be a change agent, but I'm telling you today that it's necessary if you want to get to where you want to go at in life. You're going to have to work on yourself. You're going to have to ask questions. You're going to have to change, right? You're going to have to do something to get you to where you want to go in your life, right? Next week, we'll pick up on tip number eight <laughs> because, um, yeah, and that's almost it. We have tip eight, nine, and 10 left. So that'll take us next week, okay? But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I pray that this has been a blessing to you. Um, once again, share this on your timeline. Hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. And share this video on your timeline. So thank you so much. Don't forget every day to say your confession. Write the confession down that we confess. If you want me to send it to you, all you have to do is inbox me and say, Hey, um, I would like this confession so I can... Um, you know, confess this over my life every day. Okay. So every single morning at 7 a.m. I am live. So join me every single morning at 7 a.m. I am live on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. You can tune in on any one of those platforms. I'm live every single morning. Invite somebody to tune in. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to be here whether somebody gets on or not. Whether somebody watches the replay or not, I will be faithful to the assignment that is given to me. So every morning at 7 a.m., I'm live. Join me on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Subscribe to my email list. All you have to do is go to ladyttalks.com, L-A-D-Y-T-T-A-L-K-S dot C-O-M. Ladyttalks.com, a pop-up's going to happen. All you have to do is put your email address in and hit submit. Once you do that, you can inbox me on Facebook or Instagram and say, hey, I just subscribed to your email list. Can I get my free 30-minute clarity call? You will get 30 of my personal minutes to share with you, to help you get rid of some of the things or whatever. We're just going to, whatever you need, if you just need to talk, if you need to vent, whatever, um, you get 30 minutes, right? For free. And I charge for my my coaching sessions, but this is free just for subscribing to my email list. And because you subscribe to my email list, you will get an email every single morning at 5 a.m. with um, some kind of encouragement for the day, a scripture, something. Um, my book link will be in there. My website will be in there. Everything will be in there. Everything to be able to get in contact with my social media platforms. Everything is in my email every single morning. So subscribe to my email list, ladyttalks.com. On there, you can also purchase my books. I'm sorry, my nose is like running this morning. You could purchase my books if you haven't gotten them already. Um, my 31 day devotional and my my 90 day journal, right? Um, both of these, this is uh, 12 for the devotional, 15 for the journal. Together, they're 22. You'll save $5 if you order them both. I will personally sign them and send them to you um, as soon as you purchase them. So you can do that by going to ladytalks.com and you can purchase your book on there. Um, if you're having any issues with purchasing or anything like that, you can inbox me and I'll send you the link for Epsi, um, where you can order, order it off of my Epsi account as well. Um, the last thing, um, I want to give you is the two announcements as far as the upcoming events that we have that, um, upcoming events that are scheduled. Um, this coming Saturday, I'm so excited. I pray that you already have your books. If you've registered um, for our free um, Mastering Your Mindset book club, the first book we're going to do is um, Fear is Never Your Friend by Gary Richardson. Once again, you can order this off of Amazon. If you've already registered, I sent you the link in an email. I sent you um, the link for the Zoom call on the um, in the email. So if you have not registered, you still have time to register. You may not I have your book by Saturday, but it's okay. You'll get it in enough time to read it. Um, we're going to start this Saturday. We're just going to go over, you know, what the expectations are, how it's going to, you know, look or whatever. So it's not going to be a long Zoom this week, but um, next month, starting on the second Saturday and the fourth Saturday, we're going to meet twice a month and we're going to do two chapters. It's only seven chapters. So in two months, we'll be done the book. Okay. Um, no, it doesn't take two months to read a book, but for your, your sake and my sake and time purposes, we want to just be able to digest the book. We want to be able to read the book. We want to be able to really get something from it. So two months is not an unreasonable time to come together twice a month to do the book club. Okay. So sign up for the book club. The last thing is every first Saturday of every single month, I do a free group coaching 
um, every Saturday, first Saturday of the month. Um, the next one is July the 7th. Um, I'm sorry, July the 3rd at 11 a.m. Normally we do 1 p.m., but we're doing 11 a.m. for the month of June, July, because it is my husband's birthday and um, we'll be doing something for his birthday and I don't want to be, um, occupying the day with, um, with doing presentations. So it is absolutely free, but you do have to register. So if you are interested, you can do it on my website, ladytalks.com, or you can, um, inbox me directly and I will send you the link so you can, um, sign up for either one of the, um, the group coaching or the master your mindset book club all right so that is all the announcements that i have um follow me on all social media platforms instagram facebook TikTok, twitter and linkedin all right i am on all platforms and i post every single day on all of them all right so thank you again for tuning in heavenly father i thank you and i praise you for those that have tuned into this video today it is my prayer that you would bless them keep them watch over your word to perform it in our life help us oh god to master our mindset help us oh god to ask ourselves the right questions help us oh god to to detox our mind cleanse our mind and get our mine is going in the direction that you would have for it to go today in jesus name amen thank you again for tuning in make sure when you come in you say good morning good afternoon good evening hashtag replay if you're watching the replay until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m you guys have a blessed day bye bye